For me, open world shooters and even open world games in general are always exciting to explore and play at first. Even though there's quite a bit to do in them, I often found that the worlds I was exploring in these types of games just felt so shallow, unfocused, and aimless. With that said, after playing Rage 2, the co-developed id Software and Avalanche Studios open world shooter, for about two hours at a recent id Software press event, I can tell you that Rage 2 is not like other open world shooters. Rage 2 is definitely shaping up to be the structured but open world shooter I've been looking for, and I seriously can't wait to play more of it. My name is Brad Crespo and this is Noisy Pixels Preview for Rage 2. Oh. Yeah, well, you started the bot refreshment. Get the pity bot. Prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> The Rage 2 demo I played opened up with the lead character and heavily armed ranger, Walker, who's in the corrupted city of Wellspring to chat with the city's mayor, Lucem Hager. Walker's simple plan gets messy, however, as things go awry once a group of thugs arrive and start making a ruckus. After taking care of business, Walker ends up chatting with the mayor and is told to gain intel on Clay Clayton, a scumbag rich guy. But meeting with Clay isn't so easy, since in order to do so, Walker needs to prove that he's cool enough by winning Mutant Bash TV, a mutant killing game show, and a car derby. With two main missions to complete, the vast and thrilling open world mission filled gameplay of Rage 2 truly began. From taking on the main missions to going off the beaten path to complete side missions, the Rage 2 demo was such a blast to play, since it basically was like playing in a bloody chaotic playground. This is because of Rage 2's fast and furious adrenaline pumping combat and vast seamless open world exploration gameplay. No matter which enemies I was up against, combat constantly kept me on the edge of my seat as it had me juggling between firing a primary weapon, throwing my handy dandy wing stick, unleashing devastating superhero like abilities, and keeping track of and using helpful items. Expertly firing weapons and pairing up abilities like the Vortex ability that makes shooting down enemies easier was such a thrill and led me to making some wicked combos. Even with all these weapons and abilities of destruction though, enemies did not go down without a fight in the demo and this was especially the case when I had to fight wave after wave of enemies that progressively got more difficult in the Mutant Bash arena. All the enemies I came across in the demo didn't just stand there and be bullet sponges. It constantly moved about and even snuck up on me every now and then. I admit, I died a few times during the demo, so I can imagine that Rage 2 is going to be pretty tough. Aside from intense combat, the Rage 2 demo also let me explore the game's vast and fun open world. There was never a dull moment exploring Rage 2's world as there was constantly something that caught my attention. From doing some bounty hunting to racing in a car derby, I was always doing something exciting. I never knew what to expect while playing the demo, and that's what made Rage 2's open world so enjoyable to explore. For Rage 2's open world, I not only noticed that it was chock full of things for me to discover and do, but also how oddly yet beautifully colorful it was. The world isn't what you would expect from a post-apocalyptic game, as it's captivating and imaginative. And according to the developers, you can discover it all right in the beginning of the game. From what I played, I absolutely had a great time with Rage 2. After playing the demo for it, my fears of Rage 2 being just another empty, soulless open world game have been completely washed away. My only concern is that Rage 2 won't have an engaging story. However, it definitely seems like with id Software's furious and fun gunplay expertise and Avalanche Studios' vast open world experience, that Rage 2 will end up being a must-play open world shooter. Rage 2 launches on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on May 14th. Thank you for watching. You can read our full Rage 2 preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. Well, guess that was that.